Hi guys and welcome back to my channel my name is Sam and today I've got a bubble bar chop for you so let's get into the video so this is the um, large comforter bubble bar and uh, yeah it's absolutely huge <laughs> so um, I'll just show it you now it is oh, I can't I can't you can see on the screen the size of the bar and yeah I got this in a swap on a swap side I swapped some stuff that I already had so yeah I just wanted to um, do a cutting of it then I've got it for future reference so uh, yeah finding it very difficult with a with a small knife and with the bubble bar being so large to sort of like get a full slice. I think I end up turning it around later on in this video uh, and slicing it um, from top to bottom. Got my jars ready at the side there to actually pop the bubble bar into once it's done. Unfortunately, um, when I recorded this, there was a lot of background noise, so this is why I'm having to do a voiceover. Um, but I did record another bit um, in a different part of the house, so you will be able to listen to that. I know a lot of people like listening to hearing the um, cutting of the bubble bar. So I decided to put it in the bar, uh, into the glass jar. And uh, yeah, I can see there. It's the smell that come off this was unbelievable. Uh, it's so, so strong. But I think the comforter is a really, really strong fragrance. I know I have the body spray as well, and I don't use as much as that as I do with my other body sprays, just because it is such a strong, strong scent. It's very, very, very sweet, um, and I think it can be a bit overpowering. So, um, so yeah. So here I'm going back in for a second go at this bar. It's absolutely massive. Um, I think they estimate that uh, one of these is equivalent to about five of the ordinary bars. And I've never actually bought an ordinary bar myself, but this I would imagine is more than five bars. It, it was huge. I filled. I three glass um, storage containers and then I still had quite a bit left as you'll see at the end. So here is where I actually turn the bar around and start slicing from the top to the bottom. Uh, I know it's not all in the picture there, I do apologise for that. And um, it just made it a bit easier to do it that way than trying to slice it with a small knife the other way. So. Uh, got some really nice curls coming off there. Maybe next time I will do an overhead shot. Uh, I think I've still got some of this bubble bar left, so uh, I might try and do an overhead shot to see whether that video is better. Please let me know what you think, and please comment down below. Um, feel free to ask any questions. I'm always open to improving my videos for you, so uh, yeah, please just let me know. this in the smaller jar now so I think the other one is full so that's one full jar 
These jars are just uh, really, really cheap. If you live in the UK, they are from a place called Home Bargains. I mean, a lot of people in the UK will know Home Bargains. And they're 69 pence for this size of jar. I think they do um, a smaller one and a larger one, but this one is 69 pence, so they're an absolute bargain. Great for storing your uh, bubble bars in if you've cut them up. I was absolutely full. Uh, I think I had to wash my hands twice after I'd cut this bulb bar out because my hands were absolutely full of it. <laughs> so I'm going back in again. Turn it round again. Oh no, I'm going, uh, going back the same way. I just find it really satisfying um, cutting up a bubble bar. I, I enjoy doing it, so I've got quite a few to get through, so there might be quite a few more videos coming up of different bubble bars, different shops. I can't remember where I actually got the other jars from. I think they might have come from Home Bargains as well, um, but they didn't have those ones in uh, this time. But like I say, the smaller ones are nicer as well because they, they, you can get more on a shelf because they're not as chubby um, so yeah for 69 pence go and grab yourself some Smells so good. Quite a lot of bear. And there's still loads left. I still got like just under, a, just over a quarter or a third, probably left. I don't know. I'm going to have to put some in these jars because I don't actually know whether it's all going to fit and this is the only jar that I've got left, so. But I don't think I'm going to be able to get it all in, so might have to wrap a little bit back up so but we'll carry on cutting and see how far we go it's just so satisfying Turn it it's a bit like cutting a block of cheese you get like a dip in the middle
see how much more we can get in here. as well so that's three jars and I'd say I've got about a quarter of the bubble bar left so unfortunately I haven't got any more jars so I'm gonna wrap this back up until one of my jars is empty bird shop i hope you enjoyed it uh, if you did it'd be great if you could give it a thumbs up and if you're not already subscribed please feel free to subscribe down below for more bubble bar chops and uh, other lushy stuff as thanks for watching bye for now <laughs>